Hi everyone. I'd like to show you how to use the website Skell to help with your vocabulary and your writing. This website is located at skell.sketchengine.co.uk and it looks like this. When you want to learn a new English word, uh, you probably look it up in a dictionary, but that's not always enough. There's a lot more to a word than just what it means. Now, knowing the meaning of a word doesn't mean you can use it correctly or naturally in a sentence. So, in order to gain a deeper knowledge of a word, you have to see how it is used and what words appear together with it. You have to see the environment that the word appears in, and we often call this context in English. This website, Skell, is a quick and easy way to find the context of a word. Now, Skell stands for Sketch Engine for Language Learners, as you can see up here at the top. Uh, and it's a simplified version of Sketch Engine, which is a very powerful corpus tool used to analyze natural language. Uh, Skell is very easy to use, and it will quickly give you the basic context of a word. So let me show you what you can do with this website. There are three basic functions, and we'll go through them one by one. So let's say uh, you find a new word, or perhaps there's a difficult word on a vocabulary list that you need to learn. Uh, you've looked it up in a dictionary, so you kind of have a general idea what it means, but uh, you'd like to see how it's used. So we're going to use the word estimate. First, what you want to do is put the word into the search box at the top here. Estimate. <clears throat> and then you can either click this little search or you can hit the enter key. And the first page that you get is the examples page. This is the first function. Now this is pretty easy to understand. Uh, it's a list of short example sentences that contain the word that you searched for. In this case, the word estimate. It's highlighted in red. Uh, this will give you a general idea of how the word is used in sentences. Now there's quite a few different examples here, so you can take a look and you can scroll down and see more. Generally 40. Okay. Uh, so this is quite simple. Uh, it's useful, but there's a lot more to this website. So let's take a look at the second function, which is called word sketch. Uh, you can switch to this function up here at the top of the page, and you can easily switch back to the examples page right here too. So let's click on word sketch and see what that is like. Okay, now the word sketch page is a little confusing at first, but it's actually quite amazing. This page shows us collocations uh, and words that are commonly found uh, near the word that we searched for, estimate. Now, you need to be a little bit careful because many words have more than one part of speech. Uh, our example, estimate, can be used as a noun or a verb. Up here, we can see that we are looking at the word estimate as a verb. If you want to use estimate as a noun, then you can click here and you'll see the results change. Uh, but let's go back to using it as a verb. Now, the first thing that you should do is click here on the context button. Uh, and this will make everything much more clear because it will show the word estimate in all of these examples. Now, all of these words are categorized uh, by their grammatical relationship to the word estimate. So, this first group says subject of estimate. Uh, these words commonly appear as the subject in a sentence uh, that has estimate as the verb. In this case, you can see lots of organizations like the World Health Organization estimates that, EPA estimates that, the World Bank estimates that, uh, and several others like this, the UN. Now, this next group here uh, says object of estimate. So these are words that appear as the object in sentences that have estimate as the verb. Now, what's great about this is that if you click on a particular example, it will take you to an examples page for that collocation. So let's click on this one, population is estimated. And we go back to the examples page, but it's showing us both words highlighted. So we have here the total population was estimated at 293 million in 1991. We have our search term estimate highlighted in red, and we have population highlighted in blue. So you can get example sentences that contain both of these words. Okay, let's go back. Now, finally, I want to show you the third function, which is up here and called similar words. If you open this page, you will see words that are similar to the word estimate. 
Now again, be careful to choose the correct part of speech up here at the top. Now, when we say similar words, that doesn't necessarily mean they have the same meaning. Uh, we're looking at words that have a similar context, so that means they have similar collocations or they appear in a similar situation. Uh, so for example here, we can see the first result is the word report. Now report and estimate have very different meanings, but they are used in the same kinds of sentences, in the same location. And just below that, you can see a word cloud, uh, which shows you all of these different words, uh, and some of them are different sizes. You can see the first one, report, is the biggest. Uh, so that's by how similar uh, they are to the word estimate, as far as context goes. Okay, so those are the three main functions of Scale. Uh, give it a try and see if it helps you.